What it is now, peeps, a little DP for you. Deprived Productions, that's what that is, that's what that means. It's Josh here in UE4 with the 19th material tutorial. In the seventh one, we made like a vertical health bar. Well, in this one, the 19th one, we're gonna make another health bar, except it's gonna be horizontal. It's gonna be a little more, not as square, it's gonna have a little life to it. It's gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna make it a little nicer. Make it a little nicer and it's gonna be prepared for your HUD or your UMG or any of that stuff. And if you haven't worked with UMG yet, we'll be working with it soon, so let's jump in. It's gonna be real quick. And we're gonna stay in the material editor today. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this Bad baby, and where it says service, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set it to user interface. So what that does is now it's boom, it's ready for UMG. It kind of shows us, it shows us only the parameters we need for our HUD and stuff like that. We're gonna change it from opaque to translucent, and let's get started. Horizontal health bar, all day, every day, bruh. Now check it out, we need that radial gradient exponential. Now you know we've gotten that before. Now you know me, I like to drop my arrows so I can see what I'm doing as I go, but you can't do it with this bad baby. Hold the number one two times and plug them in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly set this up and plug it in. Now. Let's set it in right, right, right here, right here on that final collar. Now zero is not gonna work. I'm gonna tell you that it needs to be 0.5 because that's typically the full circle and it actually fills it up pretty nicely. So boom, we'll be able to see what it's doing there after we change our uh, after we change our density. Now if it's set to five, as you can tell, it's got a little it's a little soft around the edges. There's our dot, okay? It's a little soft around the edges, but we don't want it to be soft at all. It's a health bar. We need it to be full. So I'm gonna set it to I'm gonna set it to 50. I'm gonna set it way up. And make sure there ain't no soft edges. Yeah, I like that. That 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 we'll we'll take that. Okay. So there's where we're gonna get started. Now we need to we need to form this thing into like more like a, a line, right? We got some work to do. Right click and type in texture coordinate. Let's get that done. Yeah. Now this is what I like. I like drop my arrow. Now we've done this a couple times. I'm gonna zoom in with the CTRL. I love how you can do that. Get right, get real up into it, get close. You know what I'm talking about? Drag a line and type in the word mask. Okay, and we'll we'll drop the arrow here, and boom. Now, we're gonna set it, we want the green channel, because we want it to go up and down, right? Now, the reason we want it to go up and down is I'll explain here in a second. We want to actually turn it into like a beam. So what you need to do is hold the letter M, you know what I'm talking about, and we need to multiply it by half of the number. So literally just hold the number one and drag it in here, and set that number to 0.5, son, 0.5. Five sun. Now we don't need to worry about. You could you could open that up and look at it if you want. It's, a, it's literally just going to cut it in half. But now we can sign it, and instead of it just being a mess, we'll actually have a mirrored image because it was cut in half. So we got the mirror, kind of like a little line, but it's you know a little little too gradient. You know what I'm talking about? We can fix that right now because we got the power. Got a little power because that that line's too thick. It's too thick. We we need. It's too thick. We get a little we get a little power. Okay. You know what I'm talking now. We want to hold the number one one more time. You can already see the see what it's doing there. It's making it a little thinner. Huh? Not not so not so thick. And the zero in the in the exponent here, and we're gonna set zero to. Let's set it to. Let's set it to fifty. Now here's the thing. We got a little got a little line now. Okay. Like what we're doing now. We're gonna we're gonna lose use a couple new nodes today. You know what I'm talking about? A couple new ones. A couple new ones you ain't seen, maybe. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and type in the word dot. Cause we need a lot, little dot, okay? We're gonna plug my dot I made into this dot and then we're gonna power that dot. Actually what's going on is the dot is actually comparing these two images or these two algorithms, if you may say, if you wanna look at it on a mathematical level. But the point is, this is what we'll get. So now we got the line, right? But it's got the dot, a little on the, on the, on the thing, on the side of it over there, I got, a, I got an ad, guys, you see that ad over there in the right hand corner? But the point is, we got this now. So, the thing is, we can plug it into Final Caller already. Couldn't we? We could. We can. But the thing is, it's still got that fade, man. I, I, I gotta get rid of that fade. I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna type in seal, C-E-I-L, and seal it, and then plug that in. Now, here's the problem. The seal is going to take anything over zero and turn it into one. And there's probably all kind of point zero 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 ones in there, and it's changing them all to one. Can't have that, bruh. Got to go back to this power and get to get a little more powerful. One thousand on that power. Now this line's all tiny, but as you can tell, it really helped us. So we kind of got a we kind of got a horizontal line now with a little bit of a curve to it. You need a little anti-aliasing there or a little smoothing. I don't know. We can't be doing that, bruh. I don't know how to tell you. Now here's the thing. We need to set it up like we did on the last one. But before we do that, I want it to be a different collar. Last time we set it up to be red, right? We can do that again, maybe. Uh, hold M to get yourself a multiply and just the number three. Okay, we'll plug this into the bottom and plug our collar into the top. We've done this a thousand times. I hope you guys are starting to understand. But you know what? I'm going green, baby, because I like green. I'm going to make, make, make green one, leave red and blue to zero, and we got a little green bar. Huh? There she blow. She blowing, I think. Now, here's the thing. We need to be able to set it up how we did last time to where we can actually affect it with a parameter. So let's go down here and go ahead and get that set up. Let's copy and paste these two bad babies right here. Got the texture coordinate and the mask, but we need to change it from G 
to R. So instead of the green channel, the red channel, so now it's kind of going left and right. But here's the thing, this is full and this is empty. But I actually want this side to be the white and this side to be the black so you know how we do. We, we, we freaking negative stuff all the time. One minus will literally give us the mirror image of that. So I'm talking about, okay? Get excited, huh? You get excited a little bit. Now, what we need to do is we need to add a subtract node. I'm going to subtract a little bit because what we're going to do is we're going to use the parameter plugged into the subtract node to make our to make our to make our moves. You know what I'm talking about? Right now it's subtracted by one. It's by, by one you can tell here, and as you can tell, it's zero. Let's go ahead and hold the number one. Actually, we'll right click and convert that to the parameter right now. One minute. Health amount. Uh oh, I spelled it wrong. You know what? I'm leaving it. Nope. You know I'm, I'm going to change it because it's the right thing to do, guys. It's the right thing to do. You got to be you got to be organized. Okay. Let's plug that in here. Now let's set it to one. Now if it's set to one, as you can tell it will be subtracting all of it. And if it's set to zero, it'll be subtracting. Well, actually, you can't really see here, but you can see here what it's doing. So if I set it to 0.5, set it to 0.5 right here, you'll be able to see that it cut off about half the bar, okay? So here's the thing. We need to go ahead and plug this into our opacity. So let's drag this bad baby down and plug it into opacity and go ahead and see what happens. We'll cut off half our health bar, but there's gonna be a couple issues and you'll see them immediately. It's got that fade. Well, that's one thing we got to get rid of before we do anything. I mean, it's it's immediate. We got to get rid of that. You know how we do. Let's seal it one more time. C E I L sealing. You're basically doing the exact same thing there. And now, as you can tell, it will literally make it a a, a flat one, which is white or whatever color we made it. And boom. Now, the, our only problem now is the health amount set to five is half. So at zero, it should be empty, right? At zero, empty and one full. But at zero, it's it's full. And at one. Well, it's empty. So as, as, as we can probably agree, it's backwards, which means we got to get that negative, bro. You can't be scared, one minus. We've been doing that all day. You got to spell it right, though. So I'm going I'm 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 to spell it right. And then after I do, I'm going to plug it in, and now it's backwards. So basically, boom, the negative means one, zero, or one, as you can tell, is going to be full. And zero, as you can tell, is going to be empty. We won't have a bar. So we'll set it to about, mm, let's set it to 0.75 so we can do some work. You know what I'm talking about? 0.75 here. Well, you know, just set it to five, set it to 0.5 to be simple. I ain't trying to scare nobody away. In fact, I'm going to set it back to one and make it full because you know what we're going to do? We're going to draw a border around this health bar because sure, we got a little vertical line here, but man, it's got to be a little prettier. So here's the thing. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. I'm going to drag this little ways down here, bro. You can't be scared. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take this, this little algorithm we have here, which is literally what's going on up here. What you got, bro? I don't know what you are, but get out. You you weren't, you weren't invited. Now, this little algorithm we have here, which is basically setting up our line, we need another one. You're like, why am I, bro? Why, bro, why we need another one? What you doing? I'm going to tell you why, son, because we're going to make this one, and we're going to subtract this from this one. So we need this one to be a little bit bigger, right? It get a little bit bigger. Okay, we're going to go to this 1,000 on the, on, the, on the power and set it to 1,200. So what's going to happen is this, this top one is going to be a little bit bigger. You know what I'm talking about? So, so what's going to happen now is we're going to actually subtract. So take the subtract. Down here, subtract. Yes. Yes. Now, if I take this top dot, okay, and I put it in on subtract this bottom dot. Oh, it's not. A, it's a dot with a ceiling. A ceiling dots. And we actually we drop our thing here. What do we got? What are we getting here? Y'all see it? I see a couple lines. Well, hold on. We got a little problem, don't we? Let's plug this in here. Let's get rid of this mess up here for a minute. Let's just look at our, our, our thing here. We're not... We're not seeing the edges of our uh, border. I'll tell you why. It's because this bad baby actually needs to be a little smaller as well. So instead of the 0.5, set it to 0.485. Just like 0 0.015 smaller. And boom, what do we got? Let me, let me get it. Let me get, there it is, bro. That's what I'm talking about. We got a little, we got our entire border now. So what we could do now that we have these two, we could get a little add node. We'll add this, right? We'll add this entire algorithm we created to just this first half of it, which we colored green, right? And we'll plug this into the the add. Oh God! Oh oh God! And then and then after that, plug this into the final collar. Now we're gonna have this green bar. We're gonna have a white border around its sun. Don't be scared. Get excited, okay? We got stuff going on now, but the thing is, you know, it, it, it's freaking sweet, and it's set up to go right on your hood. So now I, my health's set to one, right? We're gonna set it to 0.5. We're gonna see it cut that bar in half just like we want it to, right? It's gonna work. It's gonna work, right? It, it's 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 gonna it's gonna work, right? It it didn't it didn't work because it, it it subtracted the border and that is just that's not what we want to do. And I'm gonna tell you right now, we can't have it. So here's the thing: it's subtracting everything on the black here. We don't want it to actually subtract everything. Let's get another one of them dots, bro. So plug it, get a dot, plug it into the bottom of it. Go up here to the top. 
Now go ahead to this little ceiling dot we got up here, this first one we did that's set to a thousand, right? Let's plug this into the dot and let's compare these bad babies. That's all we're doing, guys. We're comparing. Now it's subtracting this, okay? It's only subtracting what we want it to. Now all we need to do is get an add node and take this outline we created and plug it into this dot. Make sure your lines are connected because I'm bad at it sometimes and my, my depth perception's awful. Plug this into opacity. Oh yeah. And we got a, we got a, we got a health bar with a border now, son. You know what I'm talking about. 0.5 is set to 0.8. It don't matter. No matter what I set it to, as you can tell, the border will not move. But the green inside material there, we kind of created a little texture, will move as we want it to. 0.15, it'll be a real small round of health because I'm dying. Somebody shot me with a bow and arrow, and I ain't got no potions. So that's what's going on, guys. You got it set up. It's set up for the HUD, your HUD, because like I said, it's literally just your, and I've got it named test because I'm not scared. But like I said, if you click here, you set it to user interface. I mean, it's literally perfect. Perfect. You make sure the translucency is on. And when you go into UMG or your HUD or however you decide to draw that up on your screen, boom, it's set up and ready to go. And you can use this parameter either in blueprints, in UMG, inside your HUD blueprint, and you could create a material instance like we did in material number seven or material tutorial number seven. So yeah, however you want to do it, guys. But either way, there you go. Boom. We'll talk about UMG soon for you guys who actually don't understand it or whatever. Not like the HUD kind of thing. It's a really awesome, awesome tool that U UE4 gave us. So, But yeah, here we go, guys. We got a freaking big old material thing. And boom, we got all kind of health. I, I need more because I'm dying. Boom. I I'm full health, bro. I'm full health, okay? Because I'm healthy. I ain't got, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy, okay? That's, 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 we're healthy. We are healthy. Thank you guys for watching Deprived Productions. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the Facebook page. We released a new track, Zantetsukin, last week. Thank you for the love. Glad everybody loved it. Um, appreciate you guys. Hit up, hit us up on Bandcamp, Deprived, capital D at the end, capital D at the beginning. Hit our, uh, get our EP, man. It's three bucks. If you want to support Deprived Productions, three dollars on Bandcamp for Deprived. We're on SoundCloud, free music, covers, all kind of stuff. Check it out. Thanks for supporting. You know I love y'all. You know I miss y'all, and you know I'll see you soon. Peace.